Princess Leticia! I appreciate the warm reception, Neon. When I heard of your little excursion from Commander Theo, my heart stopped. Whatever were you thinking, Sir Albaird? Her Highness had a very good reason. Did you truly think yourself solely capable of protecting the princess? A one-man army or... Calm yourself, Neon. We have brought Leticia back safely. And what's more, this recklessness on her part was not in vain. As of this moment, all she has accomplished is worrying me near to death! <sighs> this is precisely why I hate the royal palace. Where do you think you are off to? Somewhere I can give your arm a proper examination. Come when you are ready. Who in heavens is that man? How dare he speak in such a manner before royalty? He means no offense. That is Maester Midas Felgreed. Please show him the utmost respect. Midas... Uh, Midas Felgreed? Him? I apologize for my long absence from the royal palace, Neon. But I would ask a favor regarding the matter Commander Theo brought to your attention. Ah, uh, perhaps you speak of the prisoner we captured near Baldar. <sighs> huh. Might these be the strange companions I've heard the princess has been traveling with? Without the aid of these two, my journey would have been all the more arduous. The kingdom owes them a debt of gratitude. Very well, Princess Leticia. I will send word to notify the general of your safe return. No need. Let us first arrange a meeting that these two may be swiftly reunited with their ally. But, Your Highness, it... I was led to understand that none were aware of my absence prior to Commander Theo's report, yes? Surely news of my return can be delayed? <sighs> I see. Very well, Princess. It may yet take some time, however, as the prisoner is currently being held in the Baldar Citadel. You must arrange for her immediate release. I understand your urgency, but I cannot make any immediate promises that the prisoner will be set free. We can discuss the matter further. If you would follow me to the council chamber. from the garden the ones we're looking for? Indeed. They lead up to the second floor. Father will not be joining us? Oh. Have you not heard? 
His Majesty is leading the frontline defensive at Baldar at the behest of Captain Bertrand. He is where? Isn't it a big risk having your king on the front lines? The royal standard is on display above the Baldar Basilica to indicate His Majesty's presence. It serves as a warning. The Imperials know there will be a reckoning if they attack now. Nothing set in stone. But can we turn this all around with Midas's help? I mean, he was one of the three wise men. Do not speak as if years of history and tension can be undone in a single night. Breaking our current formation just for Maester Midas would serve as nothing more than an invitation for the Empire to commence their attack. Letty, tell me something. What exactly is it you intend to ask of Midas in the first place? If you are considering playing at the idea of forming a band of semiomancers, I am in vehement opposition. Furthermore, we have no sufficient proof that this ragtag band that follows you are not, in actuality, Imperial spies. They are nothing of the sort, I assure you. I believe both you and Her Highness speak true, Sir Albert. But it is not I who needs convincing. His Majesty's brother, Duke Clemrav, currently presides over the royal city. I will not have free reign under my father's orders. Ray, Helena, I cannot guarantee your safety. You must understand. My hands are tied until the tensions at Baldar ease. I hear where you're coming from, but you're talking like the war's already begun. What would you know? Well, if left unchecked, spies could run amok, raise cities to the ground. But if espionage on the home front was such a chief concern, why would the king be sent to the front lines? <laughs> a harsh criticism. It sounds like you've assumed from the start that everything Leticia's doing is a waste of time. What's wrong with a princess fighting tooth and nail to do what's best for her kingdom? Neon, if permitted by my father, I am sure the general could be convinced. Or even your lord father, cousin Theo. What? Consider the situation. I doubt it will be easy to entreat my father concerning a prisoner of war, or the sudden return of Maester Midas. It would be best if I spoke with him directly. Wait, your highness. Baldar would be thrown into a disarray if you were to venture there now. This is of the highest import for the future of the kingdom. Do not worry. I will not disrupt a thing. No one shall be the wiser of my presence. <sighs> Say something, Sir Albert? Commander Theo? When Her Highness speaks thusly, there is no changing her mind. Just so. Currently, a permit is required for all who would enter Baldar. Come, grant her passage, Neon. Who knows what she may do if you choose not to. Very well. But do be careful. The situation at Baldar may very well erupt into chaos at a moment's notice. Thank you, Neon, Cousin Theo. Apologies, everyone. But I will not be accompanying you to Baldar. After all, Kato still needs someone to defend it. We understand. Thank you, Cousin. Letty. If you sense any danger, turn back immediately. And that goes for Ray and the others as well. We will, rest assured. And Albi, please continue to watch over Letty for me. I will do what I can. You sound as if you've given up already. And I suppose you're my only hope then, Ray. I'll see what I can do. Have I no one to count on? Ray, let us pay Maester Midas a visit. He is like as not to be in the Semiomancy Consortium. Princess Leticia, heading for Baldar now is surely ill-advised. The situation at Baldar stands ready to boil over at any moment. Be sure to mind yourself.
Semiomancy Consortium is located on the east side after departing the palace. The Semiomancy Consortium is only a short distance from the palace. Let us leave the palace and go there. How exquisite! The Semiomancy Consortium is on the east side of the plaza. Uncle Midas is waiting for us there. I hope he's staying out of trouble. We should hurry. To the east of here, you shall see the Semiomancy Consortium. I wonder what it's like in there. So it was you who showed it to Leticia. I admit it. How could I not? I shared in her anguish. If our knights are to face the Imperials, we will have need of them. Do not suffer children their foolish dreams. You are why I find myself here. Hmm? Maester Midas, Director Melthea. Ah, <sighs> I am relieved to see you return in good health, Princess Leticia. And who are you? I am Melthea. The director here at the Osiris Semiomancy Consortium. A pleasure to meet you. Midas was just telling me of the pleasant journey you all had together. So, how did talks go with that twit Neon? Well... Um, so now we're heading straight for Baldar. And for what? I said I would support Albert and Elena. But I will rescind that promise if you intend to risk your lives so meaninglessly. Our good friend Chloe is being held captive in Baldar. We have to get to her. You understand, this is not up for debate. Hmm. I will not prostrate myself before the king. Go, return with your friend. I shall await here. Thanks, Midas. <laughs> You seem to understand Maester Midas quite well. Uh... Let us speak of the matter upon your return. <sighs> you have places to go and people to free. I truly pray time is on your side, Raymond. Let us make haste to Baldar. We have not the time to dawdle here any longer. I have to perform this big test. I can't find the research data anywhere. 